All right, that's yeah. our property. Okay. okay. I'm good. I'm gonna oh, I'll make another one. There? Okay. Um <clears throat> last weekend, not last weekend, the twenty weekend of the twentieth, we had the Earth Day cleanup. We had some volunteers. Thank you for the borough for donating some some supplies. Um hope to, to go ahead and continue that. Overall, the town is in, in great condition downtown. Just had to go through and address the parking lots. Um, we have somebody coming by feeding the cats. It's kind of gross over there. <laughs> Where's uh, that? Over behind the dollar store? Yeah, she had the parking lots. Um, other than that, all equipment, and vehicles. Jerry? Nope. Um, the only thing I'll add is because you uh, talked about faded signs. Mm -hmm. If we could get somebody to go around, there's a few of the street signs that you can't see at all. In I was going to do that, Jimmy, but I guess I said, yeah, yeah, I'll go around too. I think, okay. I think Jimmy was going around. We do. Jimmy we Marcico, did yeah. 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 There, there, yeah. There's some up on the uh, hill up there. Traffic signs street still down right here. There's a lot of signs that are really faded. Okay. The only other thing is we talked about Sullen's building is being demolished now. They had a little bit of problem with our asbestos removal. And uh, the new building will go up as soon as uh, the demolition and ends. Do we know what he's planning on putting there? There'll be three, is it two, three businesses downstairs? Two, no, two, two, downstairs, two downstairs, downstairs and three downstairs. apartments upstairs. Three apartments. I wasn't sure if that, if that yeah, was the We had the planning oh. meeting last night. Two of them. Two of them, right. Two commercial. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two ADA apartments on the first floor. And between the two, three and three. Uh, apartments upstairs. Wow. Okay. And there's parking behind that building, yes? The new building is going to be, the footprint is going to be smaller than the existing one. So there'll be parking behind the, uh, the new uh, okay. Solomon's or whatever you want. Do you know how many spots? No, I do not. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious. Well, under the zoning ordinance, there is no requirement for off street parking okay. in the commercial zone. Okay. Okay. And also the first new building. Built and all been to the downtown in a hundred years. That's amazing. Yes. I love, I love what we're good, what we're doing. We're finally getting some momentum on everything we've talked about for oh, that's years, the last <clears throat> ten years. It takes time though. Hi, my name is Dave, and the other night at the, our town hall meeting, right over there, they are talking about asbestos in this building. I'm wondering where the hell did all the asbestos go and if it was handled properly. Were the right permits done? Were the right contractors? Were the right licenses? Uh, I mean, we're really having a tough time getting some answers out of this uh, town hall, so out of this council. I'm just curious, where did all these asbestos go? They mentioned it. I didn't. It's uh, in the record. Check it out for yourself. Please like, share, and subscribe.
To wrap up this video, I did speak with Chris Ostrowski from Pennsylvania DEP. He did inform me that Alpha did in fact file all the necessary permits and paperwork with the state and uh, his department and also that the contractor did the same. He, we did talk at quite some length and one of the things we noticed is that um, there wasn't enough public transparency about the dangers involved there and uh, maybe it definitely seems like Olive and Borough Council needs that better transparency. They're not um, informing the public and the very minimum effort they did it was hidden in such a way that the average person was not able to easily access it. Uh, that being said, uh, the place was and still is a mess. Uh, they have done some minimal efforts to pull the uh, debris back from the road, uh, back from the curtilage and the sidewalks, uh, but it's still a mess and all offense council councils, so is, well, they are too. Uh, they're a complete clusterfuck in my opinion. They wouldn't allow me to ask any basic questions, which would have avoided probably most of this video. I would have asked them about what people have been asking me. Uh, what's going on with the town? What's going on with the council? Why isn't there more transparency? Why is there this clique, this group of people who are deeply involved in nepotism and obviously cronyism allowed to run our town? It's just because it's the way it's always been. Well, you know what? This is the year 2024 and things are changing. You know, there's video cameras everywhere. There's public accessibility. There's public auditing. And that's what we're doing with you, you know, all from Borough Council. We are auditing you and we're holding you to the highest degree of transparency and accountability. We want to see where every penny of our tax dollar is being spent. We want to see who's in charge of the monkey fucking the football. Yeah, let us know. Uh, thank you for uh, sharing, subscribing, and uh, following along. Thank you.